Shut up and sit down. Welcome to the Bricks King Podcast, where I'm going to bend your ear about Lego. Review those amazing bricks of plastic, and discuss what is new and up and coming around the Lego world. I'm your minifig host, Matt. Let's belt on it. Welcome in, everybody. How are we doing today? I'm doing quite well. Chicago is coming, and I cannot wait to see some of you awesome people. And oh my gosh, so many of my friends in the community, I cannot wait to see as well. So today we, this is not a typical episode as you would think. It's it's kind of a news episode. It's kind of a walkthrough of breaking news. It's, it's kind of a, a mishmash hodgepodge of a few different things combined today. And there's an intentional reason behind that. And I will share that with you here in a little bit. <laughs> anyway, so if you have been living under a stone you know, or you may not know, I should say, you may not know that in summer, Lego icons tends to be the key, hey, look at what we're doing, amazingness that is happening. Last year, we got the um, the pirate, not pirate, um, the castle set that they they announced during, it was Lego, Lego Con. I know they didn't do it this year. But it was during Brick World Chicago, and I had a guest on, and we did a recording about it and stuff like that. Anyway, so this year we were hoping, oh, LegoCon, they're gonna they're gonna show something else again. Well, LegoCon didn't happen, so unfortunately, we don't have anything to discuss and, <laughs> and go through and everything like that. But there is something that is coming your way, and it's coming your way fast and furious. What I'm referring to is the Lego El Dorado Fortress 10320 is the set number. It is going to retail for 215 bucks here in the United States, which is cheaper than what we got last year. The the castle was 400, I believe, 399.99.99.99. I'm pretty sure that's what it was. However, this one is only going to have 2509 pieces. I say only. It looks incredible. It looks amazing. So before we talk any more about it, usually when stuff like this is coming due to be announced, like the date that you can purchase it, usually you have an idea of, okay, this is when it is coming. We know that those of us that are fan media like myself and a bunch of others, we get press releases ahead of time. Well, we got an email this morning that said, oh, hey, um, there's no press release for this. But Lego's already posted it on their website. So <laughs> I'm like, okay, did Lego scoop themselves here? Is that is that what we're going on? Because, I mean, there's always embargoes for stuff, but I mean, they can do what they want, right? So <laughs> I was like, huh, interesting. Because sometimes things leak, don't know how they leak, have enough a, a rough idea, but sometimes things leak. So then when you get the, an official email that says, oh yeah, you can... Uh, discuss this, um, Lego put it out on their website. Oh, and there's no press release. You're kind of like, what? <laughs> what is going on here? This doesn't make any sense whatsoever. So back to the set. This thing is available July 7th for all of you normies out there. No, I'm just kidding. Those of you that are, are VIPs, VIP members, which it costs you nothing yet again, it will be available July 4th, which I think is really cool. Especially, you know, it doesn't really, I don't think, have so much to do with 4th of July or battles or anything like that. But still, still nice. You know, something that comes out on a holiday that you can purchase, you know, throw your money at. So July 4th for VIP, July 7th for everybody else. The cool thing about this is that in, I would say, I would say about a week or so. Yeah, yeah, about a week, maybe eight days. You guys are going to have the opportunity to be able to get a first-hand account of it because I've got it sitting right next to me. I am blown away by this thing. I've already started building it. It is gorgeous. Like, there is no other... (laughs) There is no other way to describe it other than it is simply gorgeous. It fits perfectly with the castle set that we got last year. I don't mean like it fits perfect in the same size. What I mean is it just fits... 
it fits the idea of what it is. Old style box, old style imaging, old style character design. Now, obviously we've got newer parts and stuff like that, but my goodness, how, how cool is that? How cool is that? So in about a week's time, about the time I get back from Chicago, you guys will be able to hear all about that and then determine whether it's a day one or you're going to wait a little bit. And I wonder, I wonder if Lego stores are open July 4th because July 4th this year is a Tuesday. I would, I would guess probably not, but they're not a federal, they're not a federal. I don't know. I don't know. That's a very good question. I would imagine they have to be open. I would imagine they have to be open, especially when something is dropping on that day. My goodness. Anyway, so that is the set. Looks very nice. I'm, I'm very curious to see what some of you think. You know, are you, are you going to do it? Are you going to buy it? Are you going to? Are you going to buy more than one? Are you going to keep one in the box? <laughs> Obviously, there are some of you out there that are huge retro collectors and would rather have the original retro. Maybe you do, but most people, <laughs> I don't think most people do at this point in time, but Man, there's just, there's so much cool stuff here. So I implore you to go to Lego's website and check it out. I have a link that will be going down below so that if you are curious, you can go and directly go right to the landing page for it. They have a comparison between the old and the new. One of those little sliders that they, uh, that you can use on pictures. So they have that. But the other thing that they offer is down at the bottom of the page is really neat because it gives you this idea of, okay, you could kind of design your own little castle and pirate and Viking. You can kind of put all this stuff together, even if it doesn't really go together. It still has that feeling to it. And then if you think of the Pirates of Barracuda Bay, the idea set from what, 2000, uh, was it 2018, 2019? I think it was 2019. Another amazing set right there. Anyway, so that is coming quickly. It is coming quickly your way. So definitely be on the lookout for it. And you're just going to have to decide, is it time for me to buy this or not? Or do you wait? Because it just, Icons has become a great thing and it's become a curse in the same vein. So many things coming out at the same time that are expensive because there's not an Icon set that's like 80 bucks. And even 80 bucks for some people was like, yeah, I just can't do that. I can't do it every single month. You just have to find a Lego budget, get another job for your Lego hobby. I mean, it happens. It gets, it gets, it gets thick real quick. All right. So let's move on to the next little piece here. And this, this is going to be, this is going to be an interesting set to a lot of people. If you're a Disney fan, it's a must have without, without a doubt. So Lego ideas, Lego ideas, the platform, the platform is incredible. It brings so many cool sets to market. And then there's some that I, I still question I'm like, okay, well, I don't quite understand why you chose this one. However, Lego and Disney this time around now, Disney and Lego or Lego has the IP with Disney. The working relationship there is incredible. The set I'm referring to that is coming available very, 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 very soon is the Lego Ideas Disney Hocus Pocus, the Sanderson Sisters Cottage. So it's going to be available to VIPs the 1st of July, and then everyone else on the 4th of July. Across the world, not just here in the United States, obviously. It's going to retail for 230 bucks and 230 euros, and uh, uh, 200 British pounds. Those of you that are Canadian, you're going to pay 300 Canadian dollars. So this is meant to be an 18 plus set, it has 2,316 pieces. The set number for it, standard with Lego Ideas, starts with the two. So it's 21341. And the thing is actually pretty decently sized. But remember, July 1st for everybody that is a VIP, everyone else on the 4th of July. So the cool thing about this, I I was pleasantly, I guess I shouldn't say I was pleasantly surprised, I was blown away by this thing. It it had originally when the set came up for review, like to be able to get the votes or not get the votes, it was it was a it was a must have without a doubt. It was a must have. Vote for it. We need it. I need it. People need it in their lives. And it's such a great film. I'm not a fan of the the newer one. I think it anyway. I'm, I'm that that doesn't matter right now. <laughs> But there's so many cool little details from the film that are tucked into this thing. 
They're just kind of nestled in there. One of which is, well, obviously. So you have your minifigs. You have your three Sanderson sisters minifigs, which I love the way that they are done. They are easily recognizable. And and if you've seen this movie at least once, you have images from the film in your head the minute that you see them. You have your three characters. I can't remember her, her name, the little girl, and then her sister and her or his friend, his, his female friends, <laughs> which I think in the end, they end up becoming lovers. No, not really. But anyway, so the fan designer, um, um, is her name is Amber and her last name starts with a V. I think it's Vate Vite. She's Belgian and she's 26 years old. So she, I mean, this was 1993. So was this a film that, I mean, you count back, you're talking end of, you know, what, what, what is that? Two th- or not 2000, you know, 1997, 1996, somewhere around there. I mean, <laughs> wasn't born when the time the film came out, but maybe, you know, it was readily available in their home or something like that. Anyway. So I really like the, the ideas here that you have, you have the, the special candle here, which if you guys aren't familiar with the candle, you need to go back and watch the film, but it's all those little, um, those little things in there that, came from the movie that just seemed to really come to life in the Lego set itself from just looking at it. You've got your, um, the, the cool thing that I really love about this is that it opens up. I don't have this in hand. I don't have an opportunity to review it ahead of time, but it's cool because everything opens up. You kind of have all these little set pieces and stuff like that. You have, um, just the ability to just, I guess you could say recreate scenes from the movie if you so chose. I mean, you don't have to by any means, but I think it's really, really cool. Um, the book that is in the film, the the spell book that has the eye on it, I wish, I wish there was a way that they could have like sculpted that. I know it would have looked creepy, you know, sculpted into the plastic, well, into the mold for the plastic. I really wish there was a way they could have done it, but I under stand why they didn't or how they probably could not doing it. However, I did learn something new about sculpting and stuff like that. And there's a new, or I shouldn't say new. And of course this was on a, I think it was on a Dateline podcast episode I was listening to. Of course it was a podcast. So you had, uh, there was something with a, some kind of weapon that had a serial number on it and somebody tried sawing it off or not erasing it, but grinding it off. However, that's not, I don't know. And the FBI crime lab was able to get the handle of the gun, I guess that had the serial number on it, whatever part of it had the serial number on it. And there's apparently an acid etching technique that even if you scrape it away, somehow, however it's done, I don't know. It blew my mind. Like I need to go back and do some reading, some more in-depth reading to understand this. But the cool thing about it was that they were actually able to see the um, the serial number afterward and trace it back to th- that is this and this person had this or whatever. The reason I bring that up is I know this is plastic, <laughs> but and you can only get so much detail in a mold, but there's got to be a way that they can do it like acid type etching. And that's, that's what my, I went back in that long diatribe of <laughs> something that has nothing to do with Lego whatsoever. <laughs> crime Lego. Well, I guess people stealing Lego is a, is a crime, but you know what I mean? Anyway, there's no homicide in Lego. So, uh, with that in mind, I'm a, I'm a big fan of what this set looks like. There's a lot of potion type stuff and things like that, that are in the, uh, in the set. The minifigs look great. Oh, and I forgot the minifigs and I came across it here. So you have Max, who is the uh, the brother. You have Danny and Allison. Danny is the younger girl. Allison is the um, the attraction that he has. And Thackeray Banks is the black cat. I hate saying that. It sounds so like it, it sounds like I, I having a, a wife that does primarily speech in children it, it, you know, it hurts my ears <laughs> and I'm sure it would hurt her ears too if she were here um, in the studio with me. However, set is coming. Like I said, it's going to be July. So now, now you're looking at it, you're like, God, now I'm this. And then, and then the El Dorado fortress, like, where am I supposed to be able to, I don't know. 
I don't know, but I, I will, I will be, I will be getting this at some point. This is definitely on a list for me. I think it's, it's such a cool set. One of the only things that I wish they would have done now, and I don't have this in hand and I only have the images that were provided to us that are, will be up on Lego's website. I, I'm assuming they are already. However, I really wish that the, the entrance gate and stuff like that was, there was a way to attach it. And the only reason I say that is because I don't like things that are separate, you know, like separate builds. I, I, I wish that wasn't the case. I wish there was a way that even if you just ball ball pegged it, ball jointed it into spot into a into a spot, it would work. And that's just the only thing that I wish, just for my own selfish needs, so that things don't get, I don't want to say misplaced, but are aren't out of the way. Like, yeah, I don't have to worry about okay, I have this here, but now I've got to find a way to tuck this in on the side. Or, but I guess it has its pros and cons, no matter which way you look at it. So. Not a, not a big deal. Just, um, you know, it's my own little gripe and whatnot. So that is the set. The other set, the Eldorado set, I cannot wait. I can't wait for both of these. It's going to be so cool. Um, I'm really curious to see what you guys think of the Eldorado set, um, especially after it comes out, but um, after we get back from Chicago. So Chicago, before we get out of here, this is the last episode until next week sometime in which you'll hear about Eldorado, but you guys will get the interviews will start trickling out from the Brook Road Chicago guests that are there that are, that have said yes. The biggest thing is getting somebody to say yes to an interview. There's so many people that are just like, they'll talk to you, but they don't want to come sit behind a microphone. And at least it's not a camera, right? Most people really don't like being behind a camera. However, Talking behind a microphone, you know, it, it allows some people to let their guard down and they don't have to worry so much. So those will be coming as well. The goal is to be able to get between 10 to 14 of those. We're going to trial something else on the floor with doing some mobile interviews on the floor. We'll see how that equipment works out. Um, it's something new I haven't done before, so it won't be in a video format. It'll still be audio, however, um, and then maybe we'll even do some more Instagram stuff this year around. So Chicago, like I had said, if you are planning on going, if you have not bought tickets yet, or you know somebody that is potentially interested in going or might be up their alley, give them an opportunity to save themselves four bucks on general admission for a day. You could buy two days worth of general admission and still use a code. You just have to buy two different tickets, I believe, or it's not a multi-day ticket, I should say. So using the code at checkout, Bricks King, B-R-I-C-K-S-K-I-N-G, all capitalized. That'll save you four bucks for sure. I know first responders, uh, I think medical, police, military, I'm trying to think who all is involved in that. Um, You guys already have a discounted code anyway. I know there's a certain age. I don't have any of this pulled up in front of me at the moment. There is a certain age that you guys can actually get your kids in for free. Uh, I want to say it's like eight, maybe. I'm, I'm not 100% sure, however. So there is definitely that opportunity there. So until we meet again after Chicago, I'm your minifig host, Matt. Let's bet on it. <laughs>